Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will solve a simple problem to find the shear force and bending moment on this beam and we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Now here we have a beam. One force is acting in the middle of the beam, 20 kN, right? And two forces, reaction forces from AY here 10 kN is acting upward and BY 10 kN again it is acting upward right so the length of the beam is 2 meter here till here and here also 2 meter so total length of the beam is 4 meter now what I will do I will find the shear forces right so let me find shear force at this region and shear force at this point so first we will find the shear forces. Now shear force at point 1. What will be the shear force at point 1 here? As we discussed in the previous video, that shear force at any section we can find by summing all forces on either side of that section. What are the forces on the left side? Let's say we are going from the left side, it is easy. What are the forces on the left side? 10 kN. It is acting upward, so we will be taking it positive. Always upward forces we are taking positive and downward forces we are taking negative. So shear force at this point is 10 kN. Now we want to find shear force at point 2. Shear force at point 2. Again shear force at point 2 will be all forces on the left side of point 2. What are the forces on the left side? 10 kN acting upward. Then we have this 20 kN acting downward. So it will be negative. Minus 20. And that's it. So this will be minus 10 kN. So shear force at this point is minus 10 kN. At, at point 1 it is 10 kN. So we know the shear forces now. Now let me draw the shear force diagram. How we draw the shear force diagram? Right? So let's say we have this the y axis here and the x axis we have like this. So shear force diagram we draw in this diagram on the x axis we take like the length of the beam and on the y axis we are taking the magnitude of the shear force. Now shear force at this section it starts from here from the start of the beam and it is straight 10 kN. So it starts from here goes to 10 kN. Let's say this is 10 kN. Now this 10 kN is acting till the next force. Right? Because if we find it at this section, this section, this section, anywhere it will be 10. Until and unless we cross this point. Once we cross this point then this 20 kN we have to take into consideration. So from here, this 10 is acting till this point. Now, on the right side of this 20, we have region 2, where we have a shear force of minus 10 kN. So on the right side here, on this whole area, wherever we find, right, if it is here, here, or wherever, it is minus 10. So now from here we will go to minus 10. Let's say this is minus 10 kN. So we go to minus 10. And this minus 10 will be till where? Till the end of the beam. Right? Until and unless we reach this point. So at the end of the beam it will be here. And then if you add this, this 10 plus 10 because it is plus 10. So it will become 0 at this point. So this is plus 10 kN, this is minus 10 kN. So this is how we show the shear force with the help of diagram. So this is known as shear force diagram. Now what we will do, on the same way we will find the bending moment. Usually we are interested in the maximum bending moment. Right? So where is the possibility, where will be the maximum bending moment on this beam? If I have a beam like this, right? This is, I have a beam and I apply a force 
at the center of the beam. So it will bend like this. Where will be the maximum bending moment? Exactly where I apply the, the force because it will bend more here. So let me find the, the, the bending moment at this point where I am applying the force. Exactly at this point, right? So the bending moment at that point, we call it let's say 1, will be equal to 1 will be equal to sum of all moment produced by external forces on either side of this 20 kN. Let's say we are taking from left. So what are the forces on the left side? Only 10 kN. And this 10 kN is acting upward. So the moment here will be how much? 10 times the distance up till 2 which is 2 meter. So this is 10 times 2 which is 20 kilonewton meter and here it will be this is the maximum bending moment. keep it in mind mostly on the the support are at the end of the beam the bending moment is zero and this is how like your task you can find then how it is zero and just tell me in the comment why it is zero at the end of the uh, B, the bending moment is 0. So this is the bending moment, the maximum bending moment at the center like where the 20 kN force is acting, right? And we will draw now the bending moment diagram also. So usually we draw the bending moment diagram just below the shear force diagram. So same I will have another line like here, the length of the beam. I am saying this bending moment diagram and I will have the magnitude on the y axis. So the maximum bending moment here, we I told you here it is 0 and here it is maximum at this point which is 20, let's say this is 20 kN meter. So from here I will go to 20, let's say this is 20 and then again I told you that at this point it will be 0, so again I will go to 0. So here it is 20 kN meter. Now keep one thing in mind, why we are going from here to here inclined upward? If you see here, this is what we are finding at this point, right, at this point. If I find the bending moment here at this point, it will be 20 times this small distance, it will be small value. If I find here 20 times this a little bit more distance, it will be bigger value. And if I am going like this way, Again, it will be more, more and more and it will be maximum exactly at the force where the force 20 Newton is acting. Right? So this is going like it is increasing from here, increasing, it reach here and then again it is decreasing. Again, why it is decreasing? Because in this region, if you find, let's say, so this 20 kN will also produce some moment. It is acting downward. So minus 20 times the distance. So then it is reducing, reducing, reducing and it is going to zero. Also, one another important point, wherever the shear force is zero, wherever the shear force diagram cross the zero line, the bending moment will be maximum there. So the shear force is zero here at this point, you see it is crossing the zero line. So we have the maximum bending moment. This is how we draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. Right? So we will solve uh, another complex example with more forces in the next video. This is just simply just to uh, explain the thing how it works. Now we will solve another example in the coming video. And if you want to learn the concept of shear force and bending moment, the, the link is in the description. We have another video which will explain to you what is shear force actually and bending moment. So watch that video also.